Hi, I'm Evan Seplow for Toolset, an incredible development tool for WordPress that adds functions way beyond what you can do with any theme, and beyond what you can do with page builders such as Elementor or Divi. But it integrates beautifully with them and extends their functions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build sliders with Toolset. Now, sliders can be made in many styles. Sometimes they present one image at a time, or they can be used to present multiple options at once. Now, you might already have a slider function in your theme or your page builder program, and there's tons of slider plugins out there, but none of them can control what information you put into the slider like Toolset. It's crazy the power and information you can customize and automate all without having to learn any programming or code. So let's dig in and I'll show you how it all works. So let's say I'm building a website for workout gyms and I want to highlight some of these gyms in a slider. I could go into Posts and create a post for each gym. But as long as we're already using Toolset, let's create a custom post type called Gyms. We'll go over to Toolset, Post Types, Add New. WordPress requires a plural name, Gyms, and a singular name, Gym, and a slug. I'll use Gym again, but in lowercase. For now, all default options are fine. So we'll click Save, and voila, we now have a post type called Gyms along with normal posts and pages. We'll also set up categories and custom fields for gyms, but we'll talk about that part later. So we created a bunch of post types for gyms, and you've seen where everything sits in the system. Now let's create a slider. You can create sliders on posts, pages, or anywhere. For now, let's create one on a page. We'll add a new page. Let's name it. Now, inside a WordPress block, we'll add a toolset view, and we'll name it. Pagination is already checked on, which is exactly what we want. Think of pagination like flipping through pages, which, if you think about it, is sort of the function of a slider. We're going to create a single picture slider, so we'll keep the loop style to unformatted. This next page is where the toolset slider starts showing its stuff over other sliders. We can choose what information to bring into the slider. We can pull in posts, pages, media, pretty much anything. For this website, we just created a custom post type called gyms. So let's have our slider show the top gyms. And the system creates our basic template inside the WordPress block. If we click this navigation button, we can see what we created. There's the view, which defines the overall instructions on what we wish to do. On the right panel, we see the name we gave the view. The content we're going to show is gyms. Pagination is enabled, but we want our slider to rotate automatically, so we'll choose this option. We only want to show one image per slide. Think of each slide as its own page coming up. The next few items control how many seconds each slider is up for. Are we fading? Are we sliding? And what is the transition speed? Skipping down a bit, I'd rather not see a spinner in between each slide. Let's jump to the view loop. This is where we cycle or loop through a bunch of information. We want to put stuff into this loop and then present it. So let's put a container box inside our loop. And now let's add an image. We'll set up the background to be an image. But here's the cool part. We're not just loading in an image by hand, one at a time. We're going to pull in images from whatever post is being presented at the moment. So let's turn on dynamic source. We're going to keep the post source as the current post. Now, I know this can be confusing because you might think that the page we're making is the current source, but it's not. We're creating a loop that pulls in posts, so it's going to get the image from the current post in the loop. To be more specific, where is the image stored in the post? Often you might just be grabbing the main featured image. In this case, we created a special field with Toolset to have multiple pictures of gyms. Let's grab the main gym photo. We'll also make sure that the image covers the entire container and is centered, no matter what the size of the original picture is. Going over to the Inner Content tab, let's set a height for the entire slider. We'll set it at 500 pixels. But do you see these icons? If you want, you can set different heights depending if the user is viewing on a mobile, tablet, or a desktop. That's a pretty cool feature. If all we wanted was a picture slider, we could stop right here and be done. This is what our slider would look like. Let's review what we've learned so far. Sliders can be placed anywhere, pages, posts, and so on. 
To create a slider, just create a view in any block. Tell it where you want to get the information from. Set pagination up to be automatic and all other pagination settings. And choose what you want to show in the slider. So far, we've shown images. Now let's show you how to create even more complex sliders. In this case, the slider we want to build shows the name of each gym, plus a lot more information. So we've gone ahead and set up custom fields for the gym post types that include a rating system, the gym's address, a photo gallery, a main gym photo, and then lastly a checkbox if this is a featured gym. All these are set up with using Toolset point and click interface. No code needs to be written. Watch Toolset videos on setting up the custom fields to get a complete walkthrough on how to set this up in depth. I'm going to set the vertical alignment to the middle so that in the next step our text is vertically centered. Next I want to add a bunch of text to the screen. But as a visual design I'm going to have it all on the left side so let's add in a regular WordPress two columns. From here we're going to work inside the left column to keep it on that side of the screen. Okay, let's bring in the name of each gym as we show a picture of it. Let's make sure we're still in our container. Good. Now let's add a tool set heading. We'll dynamically bring in the current post's text, the source being the post title. Under typography, let's make the text white so we can see it. Our gyms also have an address field. So let's add a single field box. It's a custom field built with toolset, and it's the address field. Let's make this green. Now we're going to bring in the body text of the post. Again, it's pulling in from one place, so it's a single field. This time we're bringing in information from a standard WordPress field. We'll bring in the excerpt and leave it at 30 words, although we can easily change that. Okay, now let's color it. Now let's add a button because, you know, buttons are fun. Add a tool set button. Let's have it say, learn more. We want it to dynamically link to the appropriate post. So we'll make it a dynamic button URL. Source, post URL. Let's style the button. Just to have some fun, let's make the background clear, the border white. We'll reverse these colors for mouse hovers. So we'll go to hover and make the background white, typography, hover, text, black. Let's check it out. Okay, let's save where we're at and check it out. It looks good, but hard to read the text. Let's adjust that. Let's go back to the container, background, and let's add some black overlay with an opacity at roughly 50%. That looks much better. And how about instead of showing all the gyms, we only cycle through our top rated ones. If we look at our posts, we can see there's a field for featured gyms. Let's use that in our slider. Going back to view, in the query filter, we're already loading in gym posts but let's add another filter on top of that for featured gyms. And we'll only load the gyms with a one in the field because the one is representing the check mark that represents it's a top rated gym. Now let's go to pagination. You see that we're using page numbers right now, but let's go ahead and change to dots. We can go over here and center align them. Let's update and view it again. Notice that there are only three dots. That's because we're loading in the three featured gyms. There would be more or less dots depending on how many featured gyms there are. I hope this video helped you get up and running with the powerful toolset sliders, plus useful tips and tricks along the way.